Hi Queens, welcome back to my channel. This is Be The Beat, if you didn't already know. And if you didn't already know, that means you are new here and I just wanna say welcome. Welcome on into the Love Me Hair Party, baby, okay? And if you're not new here, welcome back, friend. I'm so glad to see you again. So if you wanna hear all the details about this hair, just stay tuned. All right, queen, so let's get into the real tea on this wig, okay? We're gonna take ourselves from this to the Love Me Hair baddie that we all deserve to be, okay? Thank you to Love Me Hair for partnering with me on this video. They sent over this short bob curly glueless unit, okay? Glueless, period. And they sent over some goodies in the box. This bonnet was my favorite part because we love a fresh bonnet, y'all. Like, you can never have too many bonnets. They also gave the elastic band so you can secure your wig and an edge brush. They also send over a user's guide because this wig is so beginner friendly. This is an easy pop on and go wig. But even for someone like me who I do like the more advanced wigs as well, this is a great alternative that I can just pop on every day. Now we're gonna be getting into this wig fresh out the box, okay? Curls already on swim so they hate on him, okay? Check out the lace, no plucking, no bleaching of the knots, no nothing, like literally fresh out the box. The inside of the wig is constructed nicely. You've got the combs on the sides and in the back. You also do get an elastic band in the wig. And now I must be honest, this is the best elastic band that I've ever had on a wig before. It kept my wig on really well. Now to get down to business, you just pop the elastic band on the back of your head and then you pull the wig right on over. It's literally that simple y'all. Like look at the curls. I haven't wet them yet. I haven't done anything to it. They're already juicy straight out the box. The wig does look good like this. Like I literally could wear it like that, but I have short black hair, so I can't like part my hair down the middle so you can see my scalp through the lace. So I just personally don't like how you can see my black hair peeking through, but it's given anyway, okay. Another little shake of room. I'm just going to apply some foundation on the part just so I don't have to wear a wig cap because I prefer not to wear wig caps when I'm going with easy wigs, okay? Now do y'all see how it brightened up the part? Like, do y'all see the difference? So you can just pop some foundation on your part and then pop the wig on and go. I'm going to use my continuous spray water bottle just to wet up the wig get these curls really flowing. I did not shampoo the wig or anything. Literally this wig is fresh out the box and I'm just gonna wet the curls so I can style them. I'm gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner. This is from Kinkistry and I'm just going to spritz this through the hair very gently. I didn't use a whole lot cause I didn't wanna weigh the hair down. And then also I'm going in with my favorite product, the Dew, the Mousse. Now this is gonna keep your curls popping all day, okay? Even when it air dries, it's still gonna have a lot of definition. It's not gonna weigh your hair down. It's not gonna make it sticky or gooey or anything like that. It's literally just gonna make the curls pop naturally even after the hair dries. All you need on this hair, y'all, is a little water and a little mousse. How easy is that? So we're gonna tie it up now, just get it out the way so I can cut the lace. Now when you're cutting lace on a closure wig, it's very simple to do. You really just cut and straight across. This is a five by five closure. So it's five inches across your forehead and five inches back to the middle of your head. You have plenty of space to work with, just enough right across the front. And it's giving scalp. What lace baby, what lace book of It's giving scalp, okay, period. So I'm just going in with more mousse just to kind of go around the part, around the closure, so I can smooth it up and smooth it back and smooth it around all I need to and run it through the ends of the hair. I really just like to treat my curly wigs like my real natural hair if I had some, okay? And get into this lace, like, this is glueless, y'all. Like, you don't need any glue. You don't need anything. It's going to stay on. Now that we have our wig on, we're just going to go ahead and pop on some quick makeup. Now, if you are interested in seeing the full details on this makeup look, head on over to my TikTok and follow me there and you'll see the full makeup tutorial. 
So now on to doing a little bit more styling. We're just gonna get the edges together. Y'all, I didn't use any adhesive on this. I didn't use any Gas to Be spray. I literally just popped it on my head. So I'm gonna be quiet now and just, y'all just watch. Just watch and learn, okay? Now, like I said, this wig is a five by five inch closure. So you have five inches across your forehead and five inches going towards the back of your head, like towards your crown. And it's just so easy to pop on and go, y'all. The curls make it easy. And look at it, y'all, glueless, completely glueless. I can literally snatch this off right after I'm done filming. <laughs> but it's so cute. The cut is so cute. I didn't cut this hair at all. I didn't have to do anything. I literally just popped it on and I, there I went. And I'm just giving y'all the close ups because <laughs> haters gonna say it's photoshopped. <laughs> And I did not bleach the knots. Like if you really extra, you can go in and bleach your knots just to give it even more of a scalp look. But for me, girl, this is my everyday wig. Like I literally just want to pop this on and go. Get into the texture. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And beats in love. And see, look at what I can do. I can just pull this wig off. That's the magic in a glueless beginner friendly wig. Subscribe.